The topic of this video is multiplying and dividing rational expressions. Let's look at a problem. Multiply, simplify. We have the fraction 10x squared over the binomial x squared minus 16 times the fraction x cubed minus 64 over the monomial 5x. Okay, so let's go through the steps. The steps are step one, factor all numerators and denominators. Step two, use the multiplication rule to combine the multiple fractions into one. And step three, reduce that fraction to lowest terms. We begin by factoring. Okay, so we have to factor all four of these. Now, two of them are monomials, the 10x squared and the 5x. So we can leave those alone. But anything with more than one term, we're going to need to factor. So let's start with this x cubed minus 64, and let's do this in our side workspace. x cubed minus 64. Okay, let's go through the three steps of factoring. First, descending order. This is already in descending order. Three, zero. Next, greatest common factor. There is no greatest common factor. Next, count the terms. There are two terms. So the methods we should consider are difference of squares, difference of cubes, sum of cubes. Well, it turns out this happens to be a difference of cubes. The hint is that this exponent is three. If you pronounce this out loud, you would say x cubed. So we just have to ask ourselves, is 64 also a cube? Or phrased perhaps another way, is there a nice, easy cube root of 64? And the answer is yes. The cube root of 64 is four. So we need to remember our factoring formula for a difference of cubes. a cubed minus b cubed is equal to the first factor, a minus b, times the second factor, a squared plus ab plus b squared. And to find out what a and b are, we just have to take the cube root of each of these things. The cube root of x cubed is x. So this is the a. The cube root of 64 is 4. So this is the b. So everywhere we see an a, we put x. And everywhere we see a b, we put 4. So we get x minus 4, x squared plus x4 plus 4 squared. Of course, we would never write x4 as a final answer in algebra. We would write it as 4x. And 4 squared happens to be 16. So we've now factored this difference of cubes. Let's now turn our attention to x squared minus 16. All right, well, we are already in descending order. There's no GCF, and this is a difference of squares. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 16 is 4, and we're going to get two factors, one with a plus and one with a minus. Okay, so now that we've got our factors, we're ready to come back to our original problem. So we have 10x squared over an x plus 4 times an x minus 4 times the x minus 4 x squared plus 4x plus 16 over the 5x. Okay, the next step is to combine these two fractions into a single fraction. So then we're gonna have 10x squared times the x minus four, x squared plus four x plus 16 over an x plus four, an x minus four, and a 5x. Finally, we get to the reducing step. Anything that matches top and bottom can be canceled to 1. So, for example, this x minus 4 and this x minus 4 can be canceled to 1. And we will make other similar algebraic simplifications. For example, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So replace 10 over 5 with 2 over 1. x squared divided by x is simply x. So we can replace x squared over x with x over 1. All right, now we're ready to put it all back together again. So we have 2 times x times 1 times this trinomial. So that would be 2x times the x squared plus 4x plus 16. And in the bottom, we have 1 times 1 times 1 times x plus 4, or simply x plus 4. Now, there's nothing about this that can be simplified. You cannot cancel this x with this one. The reason why is because this x is not a factor. 
Factors are things that are multiplying, and this x is being added, so you cannot cancel this x. This is our final answer for this problem.